What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today, uh, we're not going to be doing anything with the boats, cars, or anything like that. I'm going to show you guys how I mount my turbos when I am mocking up a turbo kit. And it's super simple, super affordable, and super easy. Um, it's going to be a quick, easy video for you guys. And I'm just going to show you how to build these and what materials you're going to need. So let's get after it. Okay. All right. So first things first, we're going to need uh, the first thing of the list to make these uh, turbo stands. So the first thing you need is one of these. This one's been painted. It's been used. Um, it's usually a lot cleaner when you get these. Um, so th what this is, is a camper stabilizer jack. And you can get these things off of Amazon. This is where I got this one at. And I will put the link in the description for this particular uh, jack. Um, the next thing you're going to need to do, and I mean, you don't have to do it, but I would suggest it makes it easier. Uh, some guy, I, I mean, I when I first got this, I just set the turbo on top of here. And it worked, but it wasn't able to uh, move around, put it where I wanted it exactly. I mean, I can get a, a height where I need everything, but I couldn't put the uh, hot side and the cold side where I needed it because this is in the way and it's just too wide. Um, so the first thing I end up doing is I'll chop off this top piece and here is one sort of been chopped off, um, top, chopped top off of it. And, um, the next thing you're going to do, put this over here is you're either, you're never, honestly, it depends on what mount you're going to be using. Uh, on all my turbo kits that I make for myself, I will use something like a Maven mount where it is mounted uh, where the uh, oil drain is. And that supports the turbo very well. But some people uh, just use the hot side to uh, support their turbo. I mean, it's not something I would suggest, uh, but I mean, it's... if it's whatever anybody wants to do. I mean, if that's what they want to do, that's what they want to do. Um, so if you want to do something like that or have some other means of support uh, for the turbo, uh, you could also take one of the, take this uh, flat bar that I've already pre-made and you just stick it up on top of there and then you can weld it on and then you can just use the two bolts that are underneath the turbo and just mount it right like that, which would work really well and uh, still be able to uh, do everything that I do with these uh, turbo stands. So, not gonna use this because I've got a Maven mount. Um, so, the next thing I'm gonna do is instead of welding like this on top of that, I get uh, one of these, which is a uh, piece of threaded pipe, half inch threaded pipe, that you can get uh, from any hardware store. Uh, like Menards or Home Depot or Lowe's or Orsland's or I mean anywhere really uh, and you just go grab one of these half inch thread and it depends on where your turbo is going to be mounted uh, or height wise anyways and you can get longer ones shorter ones whatever uh, I just went with a shorter one and um, TIG welded it on uh, I would actually make another one today but my welder is uh, still broken so uh, I'm not going to be able to make one, uh, but I will show you how to how I do it. Um, so yeah, I just take the pipe, try to center it up the best I can, and then just take weld that on. And uh, then I can take my turbo, which is here, and this is a Maven mount, if you can see it. Uh, this is what I use to mount all my turbos, which work really well. I uh, never have any issue with it. So now I take... Uh, this end and I'll just thread it right into the hole for the Maven mount and that's usually where your, your drain's going to be like your 10 or a 12 dash AN or uh, pipe thread whatever you use um, and then you just thread it in there and then you just stand it up super simple and easy now it's standing up by itself you don't have anything in your way it uh, works really well uh, the really cool features of this thing when you do it this way, um, you can clock it this way, uh, which makes it nice. You can raise and lower it just by turning the nut, which makes it also really nice. And the really cool thing is, um, is that you can clock your cold side and your hot side. 
and put it wherever you need it to be and it'll stay there and you don't have to worry about things moving on you or whatnot when you're uh, fabricating your hot side and your cold side which makes it really nice so there it is super quick video for you guys uh, I know it's kind of boring didn't do anything fun today but I made something cool uh, so thanks for watching guys uh, like subscribe uh, we're gonna do a lot more things with the boat in the next video probably and then I'm probably gonna introduce you guys to the newest project um, probably after that or maybe even before the boat I don't know it's coming up and I will introduce you guys to the newest uh, car I guess I don't know I've had the car for a while I just work been working on it off and on and I'll get more into it in the next video so thanks for watching guys like and subscribe I'll see you guys in the next one